सहनावदु सहनो भुनक्तु सह वीर्यम करवावगे तेजस्विनावति तमस्तमा विद्विशावगे ओम शांति 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 नमस्ते so great i want to share certain things all the sa team and the sa stakeholders the subject is window and mirror which i am going to have a brief talk is more a appetizer so what is a window what is a mirror and the dharmur with the third dimension which i am going to explain to you so when you say what is the window and mirror the life is full of relationship when i say relationship when i say the relationship that means your relationship with yourself set the tone for every other relationship you have think i repeat once again your relationship with yourself set the tone for every other relationship you have now let me put it the other way my relationship with myself set the tone for every other relationship i have from you i am just converting into i now what is the entire life is full of relationship now we have got three relationship in our life as an individual as a jeeva so i have a relationship with myself this is what i told you my relationship with myself set the tone for every other relationship i have so it is powerful now i am saying a relationship with myself which is very important there is one thing called first relationship okay fine then there is another relationship which is the entire world the jagat the entire universe here here i have a relationship with myself now i have a relationship with the universe or the entire world then the third dimension is the god the almighty and what are you call the super power so that means you have to understand the importance of the relationship one with me with the entire world and also the yeah you the god so this is the fundamental fundamental what about the fundamental uh, the principle of life the relationship now when i say as a jeeva i am an individual person now unless otherwise i have a good relation with myself i will not be able to really share it with others if i am happy i will share it with you if i am sorrowful i will only share the sorrow sorrow with you so that means depends upon my relationship with myself which is the most fundamental requirement then they when i look at you know the outside world that's why we are talking about the window so is a figurative when i say figurative that means you are able to see the entire world through the window that means your eyes can see your your eyes the eyes can see the entire world 
the eyes the eyes can see the entire world but unfortunately he cannot see his own eyes we are, i have never seen my own face but i am able to see your face that means i am able to see my face only through the reflection medium like a mirror that means i have a window to experience the outside world and i have to see myself to my own face my own body and everything is only through the mirror this is not only true the window and mirror now if you want to know go little more into my figure more in the face that means i have to depend upon the scriptures it could be veda bhagavad gita or a Uh, the, the, the Bible, whatever it is there, so that means we have to understand the importance of the the third dimension, which is equally important or more important. So let me tell you about this window. You are able to see the entire world through the window. In other words, you are able to experience the entire world, the objective world, through the window. But I am able to see myself. the inside out the inside out i can see my face suppose if the mirror is very dirty i cannot say i have to keep on cleaning the mirror see that means i have to keep on you know adjusting myself for a mess course correction this is the purpose of this the mirror now when you talk about the last one like you know the scriptures that tells you who are you we are not able to really understand now you cannot only go only by the mirror and the, the window but in india the shastra or a kind of a, the scriptures to understand my near name my near nature real nature of my life so this is what is called a relationship that means i will repeat once again my relationship with myself set the tone for all other relationship i have now if i want to be happy that means i have to make myself be happy so this is the fundamental principle okay now all of us sa and sa group and all the sa associates we are having a kind of a the mindset and we are also they code for the day now the whole idea is to share but how can you really share the sharing is the most important thing because by sharing i am gaining i repeat once again by sharing i am gaining if you want to gain please share if you want to be happy you have to be your share okay now this is what i call you know, the code for the day the key to happiness that means the key which can open the happiness is it knowledge empowers you so what do you mean by that that means you must keep on you know educating yourself and i say knowledge knowledge is power knowledge is the power that means you have to empower empower yourself that is one then you have to keep on educating yourself how can you do that you are going to do it right from the womb to the tomb from the cradle to the grave why because you are able to experience every second and if you are able to learn as a learning mode not for defending mode so that means you will be able to be a powerful person powerful person this is the purpose of this particular day the the core for the day that is key to the happiness that means knowledge empowers you so keep educating yourself
So that is one. Now, let me tell you, how can you do that? Now, you know, it's so group. We always feel that you have to keep on you know, learning every second through the experience and by studying. Now, for that, we keep on telling you, not only all the, all the employees, all the entire associates. That means you have to enjoy learning whatever, whatever you mean. It is not only the learning from the book. No. That's only very, very, very minimal uh, uh, learning. But you are able to enjoy the maximum only by observation. You have to enjoy learning. Let me explain to you about the enjoy. I really am fascinated by this word enjoy. Joy is everywhere. Like a air. Joy is everywhere. You don't have to ask for it. But you have to join. When you are able to enjoy, enjoy that means you, know, you are able to enjoy. You have to join the joy so that you are able to enjoy the learning. So this is the fundamental thing for it starts. When you are talking about learning, your observation it must be very fantastic. You are looking at everybody. You can learn a lot of things. The good one and bad one, everything from the people. That is why enjoy learning. And be wise. That means, okay, you are unable to enjoy, I am able to learn, but I must assimilate. I must be very wise. I, must, I should not be only be knowledgeable. So I must be wise. Okay, the next one is, from there, you must be free. So what is the indication that I am free? How can you really measure that I am free? That means I must always be free without any tension. That means I am learning, I am enjoying learning. So I must be very wise. Then I must be free. Then automatically, whether you like it or not, you will be always be happy. Now, learning is a process. Be wise and be free is the process. But the real result is only the happiness. This is why we keep on talking, you know, for all the students, students in a school, the way to happiness. That means you must keep on learning, be wise, be free and be happy. The process is three and the result is one. That is the happiness. This is one. Now, I would like to explain about certain things. For example, why we are not able to be happy? It is very easy to explain or explain the talk to you or giving a lecture. But we always feel we are more unhappy than happy happiness. See that means there is a beautiful sloka in you know the Subhashitani, which says, you know, Alasya Kuto Vidya Avidyasya Kuto Dhanam Adanasya Kuto Mitram Amitrasya Kuto Sukam. When you say Sukam, what do you mean by Sukam? That means the happiness. That means if you want the results as a happiness, that means you have to get rid of your alasyam. That means you know, the laziness, the inertia. Suppose a person who is always lazy, he is not very active, he doesn't want to learn, he doesn't want to defend, he keep on defending. See that means there is no question of the kind of vidya, there is a kind of a education, he is not able to learn. See all the sasya vidya. What is the person, what is the vidya for a person who is very lazy? The person who does not have the vidya, so how can he get the money, the dhanam? 
a person who doesn't have the money, then why will he get the relationship? And why will he get the relationship? He won't have the relationship. So why will he question of the, the happiness of Sukham? So the whole purpose of the entire thing is the root cause of the happiness is the alasyam, that is the laziness. Now, let us also check with ourselves. Now, there are so many factors in our case, in our life, that we want to do it, but we are not able to do it. See, this is the real key about this particular program. Now, a lot of my team people, team people, team, uh, team mates, and my friends and other people say, I know it is good. I know by doing it, but I will be able to be free or I will be happy and I will also be, family will be happy and I will also be, organization will be happy, the entire will be happy, the, the entire nation will be happy. But I am not able to do it, like Arjuna, you know, see when Arjuna, what is happening, see when with all his valor, with all skill, with all the other things in his life, when he went to the war, when he looked at his, you know, the grandfather and his guru, Drona and Bhishma, that means he, is, he completely, completely collapsed. There is an emotional breakdown with all the things, but he is not able to do it. Why? See, knowing alone is not enough. But you have to have a strength, the emotional strength to execute what you know. Then he went to the, he just requested Krishna. He said, I am a, I am absolutely helpless. Karpan dosho. So you please help me. I don't know what to do. So please accept me as a Sishya. So I want you to, I want you, I need your help. Then he is able to really accept the also. This is about the Arjuna. Now, for example, look at the Duryodhana. He knows what is the Dharma and what is the Adharma. He says, Janani Dharmam Nasami Privirti. Janani Adharmam Nasami Nivirti. That means I know what is Dharma, but I am not able to follow. I know what is the adharma, but I am not able to avoid. So I am helpless. Now look at the Arjuna and the Duryodhana. And Arjuna with all his powers, skill, but he has to surrender to Krishna to come out of his weakness. But whereas Arjuna, the Duryodhana feels that he knows Dharma, the right thing, and also the, the Adharma, the wrong thing, but I am not able to do it. Now this is where we have to understand this particular concept, why I am just sharing this particular one. See all of us, without exception, we have a Dharma, the Duryodhana in our head. And we also have a Yudhishthira, he is a head. In the head, there are two people. One is you know, the Duryodhana and the Yudhishthira, who is the incarnation of the Dharma. So we know the Dharma and Adharma. It is the kind of a the symptom to say that. So we have a Duryodhana and a Yudhishthira in my head. Unfortunately, but I don't know to whom I am going to join. What I told you about the joy, see it is there everywhere. So I have to join. Similarly here, in this particular case, see Duryodhana is with me and also in the Vidishra. Now I have to join. This is the choice, is, the choice is mine. I have got a free will, so I have to really do it also. So this is what you have to understand the, the real purpose of life also. See, I have the free will. 
I can change the channel to Duryodhana or to the Yudhishthira. So you are not the button. Or you are going to do it also. So this is the purpose of the whole thing. That means you have to understand. Yes, all of us like Arjuna. Unfortunately, we don't have a Krishna. Now you have to install Krishna in your own heart. You have to install Krishna in your own heart, saying that yes, now I am having a lot of you know the confusion. Now whether I have to join the Duryodhana or a the Yudhishthira, that means the Krishna will definitely support you. Yes, because I, it is also in the heart. So you have to understand this particular one. Now, with this particular one, I want to just make a small little request all the executives. That means, we are going to have the program on every Saturday. The, cap, the capsule of 10 to 15 minutes. So I am just giving only the information. Whatever I am just giving you only the sound. And you have to convert it as an information. You have to make it as a knowledge. You have to convert it as a wisdom. And then you can become a free. So that means you have to make sure that whatever the information I am just giving it to you. You just think. Reflect. And also make sure that you are able to retain the knowledge that what you have and recall whenever you want and you must make it as a living experience in your life. I am sure that you will be able to do it. I really enjoy sharing it with you and make sure that this information, there is a window and the mirror which you are going to really have one more brief introduction. You will be able to understand when you are going to look at the mirror, when you can look at the window and when is that you are going to look at your own, your heart. That is a, what you call the scriptures. That is a Krishna. With that, you will be able to make yourself happy and also make sure that everybody around you will also be happy. All the best. God bless, God bless you.